Oh, David, yeah. David. It's okay, you have the turkey. You know what? It. You have to go with your skills. Um, oh, Mary. Oh, Mary oh, might Mary. have the chicken. Mary might have the chicken. Well, we got the whole barnyard. That's what no, we got. And notice yeah. I don't do any animals. Thank you. Well, but you've got, you got something going I've on here. I've got buzzers. Oh. And they're all going off now. And they're all ready, I think. Turn that okay, off. so what we're talking about we'll is Egg Express, the egg cooker with the poacher with the bell. With the bell. By Mark Charles with Masilli. the lock. Oh, and it's compact, and we have all the pieces that you need to cook poached eggs, hard boiled, soft boiled, medium, bo medium boiled, or omelets. All fits in here. Lockable lid with a buzzer and a light. The cord, everything ready to go, and we've got a new color. We do have a brand new color. I'm going to go color. through colors, and then Mark Charles is going to show you how to do this. Yep. Um, our brand new color is pink. Pink. So if you are a pink lover, we are not leaving you out. But if you want the pink, we have fewer than 400 to go around. Wow. So Already. don't wait on the pink. Here it is in green. I have it for you in aquamarine. Here is your blue. Then I've got it in purple. Beside the purple is the black. Then I've got the honk honk. Taxi cab yellow. Thank you. And then finally, I have it for you in the red. This is uh, $22 QVC price. All that little chirping you hear means that the eggs the are buzzer. ready. When it chirps, it means that it's come to temperature. It's a, it's, um, it's done all the, all the eggs like the omelet. Let's talk, go to the omelet. So what I love about this with this audible buzzer, which we added in this version, is that it'll keep buzzing until you push that button. It stops it, but just so you know, the cooking process actually stopped. The buzzer's there just to say, hey, you want it nice and warm? How about steaming an omelet, right? With whatever you want inside of it, beautifully like this. I'm gonna take, now this gets hot, so I want you to be able to, to take um, a little spatula, right? And get in there, look at this beautiful, fluffy omelet. I'm gonna bring that right over here, guys. Look at that. You can have cheese and vegetables and meats in it. Let me show you how I did that. So what you're going to do is take the tray that it comes with. You're going to fill it in with your vegetables and your cheese. If you do meats, please make sure they're pre-cooked, okay? So pre-cooked bacon or pre-cooked sausage that you've cooked before because you don't want to put the meat raw in there. But vegetables and cheese, of course, you could put raw. These could be farm eggs, egg whites, regular eggs, egg beaters, egg ex um, substitutes. It's all right. Just cover everything, all right? You're going to get a little measuring cup on there, and there is, on one side, omelet and, see the omelet and... Um, uh, poached, you fill it up to the line. That's all the water that you need to actually make this omelet. You're gonna pour it down here. And I just spilled. I'm so sorry because I'm not paying attention. Oh. Sorry about that. Spilled some egg. And then you're gonna put it, you don't have to put the lock by the way. The lock is really for storage purposes. You can have it locked or not locked. And then you're gonna push the button. The blue light goes on. And what happens is that little heating plate starts heating up the little bit of water you put in. It creates steam, and the steam is what's cooking the omelet. When all the steam and the waters have been evaporated by the heat, that's when the buzzer goes off and the heating element stops. You've cooked the omelet perfectly. The same thing is for the poached. Over here, we did the two poached eggs. I've been in the kitchen for over 20 years. I'm a home cook like David. I've never learned how to do proper poached eggs with the vinegar inside the water. It's very they difficult. Spider, but look at this. Perfect every single time. I know. They're great. And this little booklet that comes with is not only going to give you some great recipes, it also shows you step by step as if Mark Charles is standing in your kitchen showing you how to measure your water and achieve the perfect soft, medium, or hard-boiled egg, poached eggs, omelets, whatever you want to do inside here. Because for the longest time, making eggs benedict at home was something we just didn't do because it was too hard. It did. I called it my hotel breakfast. Or you had it when you went, or when you traveled, or you yep. went out to brunch because you needed you needed somebody else to it do it. It was too much work. This is fantastic. So let me now, show you how easy it is. Did you say 400 gone? Okay, 400 are gone. So with the poached eggs, you get the tray. Remember, everything I, I'm talking about, you get and the instruction book. You have the bottom. I'm going to put two, crack two eggs in there. That's all I did, all right? Again, I'm going to take that little measuring cup, and there's a little guide on there that says poached an omelet. I'm going to fill that up to that line. That's all. See that? I'll go the way. See that right on there? So that's all the water you need to poach two perfectly good eggs. You don't need vinegar. You don't need an eight-quart stock pot filled with water. Put the lid on it. Push the button. The light goes on, and th when we walk away, this will do it perfectly. Let's go through colors again, yes. and I'll remind you that we have a brand new color today. Mary, brand we have new. pink. Oh. When was pink. the last time you remember a pink item in the kitchen? We haven't brand done it in a long time. Brand new. In fact, if you want the pink, I have fewer than 300 to go around. So don't wait on that pink. It is brand spanking new today. Here it is in the green. I also have it in aquamarine. Beside the aquamarine, I have it for you in the blue, then purple, then black, 
Now I've got a nice sunshiny yellow, mm -hmm. just uh, in time for springtime, and our always popular, most popular foodie Foodie red. red. $19.98. Mark Charles, we're showing right there that everything packs inside yes. the unit when you're not using it for easy storage. And, and that was by love design, David. That this is not something that you need to be concerned about. You simply plug it into yep. the wall, put the proper amount of water in, yep. and let the egg press do the rest. So now remember, we talked about the fact that you can make a perfectly softball, medium ball, hard boiled egg. You can do one egg if you'd like up to six eggs. And this, you get the little tray, the little handle that pops out. Here's the heating element, all right? You wanna drop that down there. I already pre-did these three, but I'm gonna show you that the other three, each one has to be pierced. And at the bottom of this cup, there's, there's a piercing needle. There's a piercing needle. tool. There's a piercing needle right there. See that guy? Mm. It's protected with a cover, not to worry. So when you're not using it, nothing can't pierce. Wrong. So here's the thing, you just take an egg, hit the top, and you pierce that little, little hole. See right there? That's for the pressure, because remember, you're steaming these eggs. You're not boiling them. So Because if you don't, they'll explode. They'll explode. They'll explode on you, OK? Lucy, they'll explode. No exploding. <laughs> so we put this up like this, OK? And then we're going to take the little measurement, and then you decide on one side. It's showing, again, the instructions show you this. You have to choose hard, medium, or soft. So you just fill up to that line. So up to six eggs. Up one to six eggs is the same amount of water. So I'm going to go medium for that. That's all the water that you need to make six medium boiled eggs perfectly. I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to put the lid on top. And all you do is push the button. The beauty behind this, you walk away. There's no guessing, there's no worry. When I grew up, my grandmother used to teach me, try to teach me how to do a soft boiled egg. Well, you have to watch it because for every 10 seconds that it goes over, the time you then turn it into a medium boil or a hard boil. This is no guessing. It doesn't. No it disrespect to your grandma. Yeah. But nobody's got time for that. I know, but mm. I grew up with my grandmother who did that for me on my favorite breakfast, a soft boiled egg. She cut it and put an egg cup with a little. But my point is, the, this way easier. This is way easier. Way so, easier. All right. So, K41589. Real quickly, we'll show that, and yep. then I know you got something here for me. Thank you. Okay. So here is the soft boiled egg. Over here is what a medium boiled egg should look like. And then, of course, the classic hard boiled egg with Easter coming up. Great way to do all your Easter eggs or your egg salads or your deviled eggs for parties. All right, I have a trivia question for you. And I am surprised. I thought you might be. All right, so your question has to do with fettuccine. Okay. Because we're making chocolate fettuccine yeah, for yeah, my yeah. recipe today. Which two famous married actors are credited with bringing fettuccine Alfredo? To America. Whoa. Is it Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz? Yeah. 